written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. So, uh. Well, you've you been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Huh. Okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me and you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. <laughs> Take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. No, not a chance! <laughs> 